Hello everyone, hope you're well. So, it's been a while, hasn't it? I thought I would come back with um, some products I'm currently trying out, some new products I've picked up, how I'm liking them, and yeah, we'll get into it. So, let me twist around, get my basket of bits, my big earrings, you know. Um, okay, first of all, how are you? How is everybody? How are you today? You feeling good? You feeling confident? You feeling happy? It's something I want to um, kind of add to my weekly videos. I'm quite inspired by Swoozy Bird actually when she does her um, her chats. So I thought maybe I should do like a you know Monday chat or rant of the week or something like just things that are on my mind. Um, what's bothering me in the world, you know, general chit chat, let me know. Anyway, let's get down to the prods. Okay, these, these are things I've been late trying of late, okay? I've recently picked up Glow Minerals Pressed Powder in Honey Medium. Now, I have a whole nother story <laughs> um, about my esthetician. I went to see her, um, she put my face in this machine. Let me know if you want a separate story on that. Anyway, she was talking about the mineral makeup that they had and she said they've got Glow Minerals and it's a really good brand, you should try it out. So I thought, okay, I picked it, I picked it up, it's a pressed base. I haven't got a pressed mineral base. Um, so I just thought, you know, I'll give it a go. It's really creamy. Can you see it there? Where are you? Here. I don't think you can see it. It's really creamy, it's packed with antioxidants, it's got green tea, it's anti-aging, it's really smoothing. I thought this would be a great one sort of when I want to be really quick in the morning, like if I'm going to the gym or popping out and I need to put something on my face really quickly, then this is really good. Um, so far I'm enjoying it, it's got great coverage, you've got to build it up, but it looks very, very smooth on the skin, very smooth. So if you're someone that's never got on with Bare Minerals, you know, you, it's made you itch or you just haven't got on with it, then do give Glow Minerals a go because they are a dermatologist brand um, and they are in most med spas and it's a beautiful, beautiful um, finish on the skin. So really enjoying that. Then, um, I'm of course I had to pick up Lash Paradise because everybody was talking about it and I kind of held out for a while because I'm not a huge fan of L'Oreal mascaras. I've tried, you know, the Voluminous, the Telescopic, the um, the one that everybody likes, Luminous Black or whatever. I just, it doesn't do, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't gravitate towards it, but I thought I'd pick it up because it's a really pretty packaging, it's rose gold, and it's supposed to be a good dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex, which I liked, but it crumbled all over my face, something awful. I mean, honestly, I had black bits all day all over my face. I thought, what the hell is this? So I've, I've tried this, I'm wearing it today. Um, it's got quite a good, good wand. I'd say, good chunky one, very, very jet black, so it's one of those real, you know, like the carbon, really coats the lashes, really jet black. Um, yeah, I like it, so far I'm liking it. Um, I don't know whether I'm ecstatic about it, but I'm just, I'm using it and seeing how I like it. Um, at this moment in time, I think I still prefer my Max Factor 1,000, 3,000 calories. But you know. You, you know, you've got to try things out, and this is what this is all about, people. So, next up, I was very kindly sent Naked Heat. I mean, you know, just when I thought I didn't want to do any more eyeshadow palettes, I did secretly yearn for this in my soul. I thought, oh my God, I want it so badly. I really do. And then one day, there it was in the post. Thank you so much. Wow, this is like the biggest thing I've ever been sent. Um, I absolutely, I've got it on my eyes today. I absolutely love these colours. I mean, honestly, good lord. These are my kind of shades. I love them. Rose golds, coppers, burnt oranges. <sighs> and what I love about this, summer heat, but hello fall. I cannot wait for fall. Fall is my season. It's when I've got my most imagination, motivation, everything. I love everything about fall. So this is going to get mega use. And it's it's gorgeous. If you were on the fence about it, my God, just get it. Because I tell you what, this is going to look beautiful on brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, 
it's going to look gorgeous. I've got one and two. I haven't got three. I do want three. Smoky, never liked it, never wanted it, just didn't want it. It's not, the shades were too cool toned. But if you like warm toned shades, my God, this is amazing. <gasps> and the packaging, oh God. Um, then I also picked up, and this was because of Brianna Stanko, she mentioned it in her favourites, and I thought, yes, if you say it's good, I need it. And it's the Sol Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Shower Gel. It's a shower gel. <laughs> um, and this goes through the range of, you know, you've got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream that's supposed to be amazing. This is the um, shower gel, and it's supposed to leave your skin soft and ir irresistibly smooth. And it smells like, you know, it's, a, it's powered with natural Brazilian extracts, pistachio and caramel. And it's got that lovely summer Brazilian vibe, coconuts, tropical scent, which is just gorgeous. I love, it's a nice big size. It's nice and bright in the shower. It puts me in a good mood. Um, and it just smells really nice. So enjoying that. And also on Brianna's recommendation, I had to. Uh, she mentioned this Kerastase VIP Volume Powder. And what it does is, it's supposed to give you a back comb effect. So it's not a dry shampoo, but it's supposed to just give you like a back comb, sort of some oomph to your hair. Um, I think you have to back comb it. It smells gorgeous. Oh my God. It smells so beautiful um, and it's just nice kind of just to refresh or give your hair some texture or you know just to give it a bit of maybe the second day when it's lost its oomph just to give it a bit of oomph. Um, Kerastase never disappoints and I'm just kind of seeing different ways to use it at the moment so yes. Then I picked up Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation. I am a foundation freak. I just cannot freaking help myself, okay? It's just like, Shaz, just stop, you know? you know. But you're like, oh, I remember once I tried it and I thought it was really, really good. Anyway, I thought it'd be a really good kind of, when you don't want to use up your expensive foundations or, you know, just something, an everyday foundation. Um, I've got the shade 6.5 Buttermilk. Hmm, is it going to? Focus, you freak. Anyway, 6.5 buttermilk. Um, it's a really, really good match for me. I'm wearing it at the moment. Um, it's not as good as I remembered it to be. I mean, I've tried, I used to like to use it with my brush and I tried it with a beauty blender today, but I don't know if it's the skincare products that I'm using at the moment. You know, I'm using a few extra things added in that kind of exfoliate and I don't know whether it's that that's not letting my makeup, you know when your makeup kind of, it goes on but then you start to put other things on it sort of comes off and it gets a bit patchy. Um, you know, it's got that kind of, and I have a real issue, I want my foundation to work any season, any skincare issue. And with my Double Wear and L'Oreal True Match, they always work. It doesn't matter what the hell's going on with your skin, they always work. This is like, oh, I don't like what's going on with your skin today. And it doesn't really kind of, you know, and I had it on my eyes and under my eyes and it just got too much. So I had to like wipe it all off and put different things on. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm still on the fence trying it. Maybe I put too much on. Maybe I put too much powder on. Who freaking knows? You know, shouldn't be that hard, should it, to put foundation on. Okay, now last two things I've got are from recommendation from Laurie from Pride in Photos. I hope I've got that right, Pride in Photos. Oh my God, Laurie, she did this video, I'll link it below on the products that she takes um, to combat hair loss or for healthy, strong hair. And one of them is this, it's the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptide. Um, and she says she puts two scoops of this in her coffee in the morning, which is what I do now. It is brilliant. It's a dietary supplement for hair, skin, nails, joints, and bones. Um, I got this because I, I my hair's quite fine and thin and you know I, I want to kind of boost that but um, my nails are awful at the moment and I hardly ever get gels but the last time I went it was like oh god your nails are absolutely paper thin you've got to stop and I was like what but I don't I mean you know you, you've got these people who wear gels all the time and every two weeks whatever they're getting their nails done now and I can't even wear a uh, nail varnish at the moment because my nails are so freaking weak I've had to cut them down short I'm putting coconut oil on them 
all the time. Anyway, I thought this might help as well. So I, I take two scoops of that uh, every morning. And she also recommended the fabulous Lori, um, the Vita Fusion Hair, Skin and Nails Gummies. Again, she says she takes two of these before her morning coffee when she goes to her office and then she has two of these and that's what I do as well because I have to copy her. Um, these are amazing. Oh my God. Multivitamins plus biotin. Again, biotin is really, really good for hair growth um, and antioxidants and they're gummies. So look at that. They are delish. It says to take three gummies a day don't know laura you said you take two do you take three should i take three i don't know but i really really like these and um i'm so glad i i um watched that video and found out about it because i think it's brilliant so i'm really enjoying those so yes those are some of the things i've been trying out that's new this month um haven't decided you know how i feel about everything but you know what i mean i'm just i just wanted to share what i was trying um and let you know and i shall be back with my August favourites, if I have any, of course I do. Anyway, I hope you're well and leave your suggestions and comments and whatever you want to down below. Do subscribe if you're new because I would love to have you here and um, it's a really wonderful, caring community we have here. So do join. I hope you're well and take care. Bye.